and welcome back to my channel. I have a bare face on. Okay, and we're gonna be doing my makeup today while I'm gonna be doing my own makeup. I'm gonna be answering some of your questions that you asked. I have a bigger audience now, which is crazy, so I kind of was like, okay, maybe you should know who I am. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. My skin is dry as fuck. My skin is just dry as fuck. I can't even smile right now because, well, I am, but skin is so dry, it just hurts when I move it. So I have this CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, Ultra Lightweight. I use the PM one because the PM one does not have SPF in it and I'm not going out today, so. Usually SPF moisturizers on my skin leave like a white residue, and listen, I'm not trying to look diseased or something. By the way, I have gotten shingles before. If you don't know what the heck shingles are, well, bless your soul, because you won't have to worry about it until you're 60 years old. That's right, I got a disease for the elderly at the age of 17. Is that crazy? Yes it is, and why was it me? Out of all people on this planet why was I the one to get shingles now the first thing in my makeup routine is concealer this is it right here I have the NARS concealer in the shade medium to ginger I don't put on foundation at all because I don't like the feeling of it I just put on concealer that literally matches the skin tone of my face and call it a day I don't like putting on foundation it makes me feel gross and icky we're just gonna get into the first question a man Amanda Carson asks, how old am I, what is my ethnicity, and how did I get into YouTube? So I am 19 years old. This is my last year as a teen, and that's really just weird to me. <laughs> my ethnicity, I am Asian. I'm not going to get into the specifics because honestly, I don't even know what I want to keep private on here and what I don't, so I'm still trying to sort that out, but for now, obviously you can tell that my ethnicity is from Asian descent, and I know you must be like ethnicity like there's no harm in people knowing your ethnicity i don't know i just <laughs> it's something that i want to keep private for now how did i initially get into youtube when i was in elementary school and middle school i used to play animal jam and i had a youtube account for my animal jam my voice was still really high you think my voice is high right now just think of what it was like for me before puberty okay it was just it was terrible i can't even watch the video without cringing so so bad but basically how I got into YouTube was one day I was just in quarantine I was so insanely bored I was just lying there like okay what can I do right now in the same week as that day and I went on a shopping spree you know that clothing hauls are a big thing on YouTube and then I decided to film a clothing haul and its history from there that was six months ago seven months ago yeah it was around six or seven months ago and now I'm here and I'm just super grateful so thank you Amanda for asking me all of those questions I really appreciate Appreciate it. We're gonna move on to the next thing in my makeup tutorial. <laughs> next thing I'm gonna be doing is some bronzing. This NARS bronzing powder in Laguna, I believe. I didn't even buy this. This was a birthday gift from Sephora. Now you might be thinking, okay, Arella, why don't you just get a regular bronzer? Why are you using the cheap birthday gift from Sephora? And the answer is that I actually don't bronze and this was just a gift so this is the first time I'm actually trying this I don't have a brush for this type of stuff don't kill me don't kill me in the comments but I'm just gonna use my eyeshadow brush the next question that I'm gonna answer is from Ella Raindrop she asked what would I call my aesthetic honestly I don't really know <laughs> I feel like limiting myself to just one aesthetic is really dangerous. I like to, you know, try a lot of things. And so I wouldn't, I don't really know what I would call my aesthetic. I think just as long as it looks good to me, like I'm fine with it. I don't really want to limit it to one specific, you know, word or phrase like cottage core. Thank you, Ella, for asking me that. And I'll move on to the next question as well as the next product. So for blush, this is also pretty eccentric. I use a lipstick and the reason is that my mom gave me this bright pink lipstick and it doesn't look good on my lips. I feel really weird with it, but I also didn't want to waste it. So when she gave it to me, I was like, what am I going to do with this? But then one day I ran out of blush. This lipstick was sitting there like, hi. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, let me just try this. I just 
put it on my cheeks, blended it out, and it absolutely worked. So there's that. I hope that no one is upset by that, but I'm just gonna move on to the next question while I blend it out. Emius or Emius? Emius asks, what is my biggest dream? That is a great question. I have lots of dreams. Just my end goal in life is, you know, when the time comes, the inevitable. Am I content with what I've done with my life? And if the answer is yes, then you know, I've done everything. If the answer is no, then I just don't wanna be laying there or whatever and just be thinking, oh, oh crap, like why didn't I do that 10 years ago? Or why didn't I just, what would happen if I just kept going with this or whatever? So I think my biggest dream is to just be content with my life and have no regrets. And I know that's so cliche, but it's so true. I'm super pink right now. That's the good spot. I'm going to quickly go in with my Sephora Clear Brow Gel, Lick my eyebrow hairs up. The next question, do I have any pets? Yes, I do. I have one white Labrador Retriever. His name is Charlie. He is very awkward and derpy, and I love his energy. He's my favorite. I think he's just, he's going to be my favorite animal, like, for the rest of my life. He's so cute. <laughs> if you want to meet him, you can watch my video where I baked him a cake and sang him happy birthday. You can sing along too. This person also asked, dream travel destination somewhere in Europe. I would be content with going anywhere in Europe. Switzerland, France, Italy, Britain, anywhere. Out of all of those places, I feel like I would want to go to Italy the most. Listen, Italy has great food. They have amazing views. They shot Star Wars there and it's just so insanely beautiful. I want to be there to see it all. <laughs> also asked me if I can make a fashion advice video. I will, definitely. That really matters me that someone thinks my fashion is good <laughs> that's kind of crazy now my brows are dry with the brow gel I'm just gonna go in with the instant lift brow pencil from elf literally only what two three dollars I just go in and fill my eyebrows I pretty much only fill the ends of it and call it a day. Sometimes I like to draw on a few freckles with the ColourPop freckle pen. I've always thought freckles were just so insanely cute. When I was a child, I'd get a marker, a brown Crayola marker, and I'd draw a few on. Biggest mistake ever. If you look closely <laughs> on my lips, there's like a dot here. That's because one day I was just feeling really experimental with drawing freckles on my face. I decided to get a pen and make a dot on my lip. This was in first grade. Now I don't know why it hasn't come off since then because it's ink, right? But I think I suppressed it really hard because it's still there. And even after layers and layers of peeling, it's literally still there. I don't know how to get rid of it. Like, what was I thinking? Oh, what would happen if I put pen on my lip? Thank you, Emius or Emius. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but thank you for asking me some questions. I'm gonna move on now to Grace Harrington's questions. Now, Grace, I wanna thank you for asking me all these questions. What inspired me to love fashion? Okay, before I answer that question, I'm gonna go in with some liquid eyeliner it's the Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day. I'm just going to be doing a really small winged liner so it looks like it's part of my lashes. I'm just going to go in and make a small little triangle here. She asked like what inspired me to get into fashion. To be honest, I don't really know. It was just something I had an affinity for ever since middle school. I don't know, it's just something I like, you know. Some people just naturally like things and I naturally like wearing good clothes. <laughs> What do I edit on? I've been getting a lot of questions about this and the answer is Final Cut Pro. It's like iMovie, but iMovie on crack. <laughs> Grace also asked, what is my all-time favorite song? I wish I had an answer. Oh my gosh, I don't have answers for any of these questions, but I don't really have an all-time favorite song, unfortunately. Basically, anything that is in my playlist is a favorite song of mine. I guess I don't really have favorites then. I just like a bunch of songs and add them to my playlist. So I've made up my mind. I was gonna do an eyeshadow look today, but I'm just gonna go with something simple. So I'm just using the NARS 
bronzer palette from before. I'm just going to go over my eye with it, and that's all I'm going to be doing today. So I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. My favorite color as of right now is either maybe yellow or green. Mir asked what camera do I use and what are my favorite books. I actually went over this, I believe, in my midterm vlog, but one of my favorite books ever is The Secret Life of Bees. Other than that, I really like Being Mortal. It basically talks about death in terms of medicine and it really opened my eyes to what kind of patient provided care I want to give to my patients if mortality is involved with whatever condition or injury they have. Our society really depends a lot on how we view death and how we view mortality. I also read Hamlet recently and I know Shakespeare is kind of like boring, you do that in high school, but they're kind of fun to read. I mean, the storylines are so just bizarre and if you've ever read Hamlet or Romeo and Juliet, a lot of modern day media is based off of Shakespearean ideas. <sighs> Is this girl like trying to be sophisticated? No, I'm not. Like I'm literally the most immature person. Right now, I'm currently reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is a huge thing going on right now. A lot of people are talking about it. So I finished with the black eyeliner. See, it's, I literally just extended a line out and kind of made a smaller triangle. That's all I do. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Glide Liner Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in white and just water or <laughs> outline line? The bottom water line of my eye. I feel like doing this kind of makes my eyes pop out a little bit more. I'm gonna try something new. I'm just gonna add a little bit in the corner. I kind of like that. Wait, I actually kind of like that. Oh, and Nier, thank you so much for asking the question too. Milk Tea asked me a bunch of questions, so thank you Milk Tea. What's something that I like most about myself or my personality? My dashing good looks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you know, that was kind of gross. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes right now. I would say maybe my ability to learn quick things or not quick things. I mean, to learn quickly. Also, you know, I used to hate my voice, but I kind of like it now. Or a lot of my friends tell me, I know this is going to sound really insane. I don't want to make it sound like I'm like flexing. Like, oh yeah, like people think I'm nice. Okay, how about I just say this? People don't think I'm mean. And I feel like my my voice plays a large part into that. Physically, I think it would be my voice, but personality-wise, it would be my ability to learn quickly. My lashes are a serious problem. Throughout the day, they just want to droop down and fall off my face, and I absolutely hate it. So, this mascara has been the savior. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. But what I do, basically, is I try and just... Oh my gosh, I'm making the face everyone makes. But I'm trying to just get the base rather than come through the entirety of my lashes. Ow, I just poked myself. <laughs> I'm making the face right now. Looks good to me. I'm going to be doing my lips now. I don't like to use lipstick again, so I use like some form of chapstick with lip tint in it. I'm using the Chapstick Total Hydration Pink Nude Moisture and Tint. Milk Tea also asked me, how did I find my style and how am I doing mentally? Thank you for, you know, <laughs> checking in. But mentally, I'm doing okay, thank goodness. How did I find my style? Well, to be honest, I'm still looking for it. I feel like if you're trying to look for your style, I think maybe you're trying to rely on having a certain aesthetic too much. Free flow it, you know, wear whatever you like. If it looks wonky, then, you know, you learn from it. I don't really have a specific style. I think my style would just be whatever I like. And that literally, I feel like I'm literally not helping on any of these questions, just like the advice I'm giving. But just wear what you want to wear and feel good in it is the most important thing. Emily or Emily asked, do I have a makeup routine? And if so, what are my favorite products? I'm just gonna finish off with some clear lip gloss. This one is from Smashbox called Gloss Angeles. Haha. <laughs> anyway, the last question is from Brianna. I'm just gonna jump around because I think I already answered some of these, but her first question is, 
What do you do to stay motivated? I went over this in my midterms video as well, but one of my playlists is called I'm Not Home Right Now. It's all the music from theme parks, movie soundtracks. It helps me really envision my future while I'm listening to it. I associate the songs in that playlist with the feeling of thrill and adventure and overall just happiness. By the way, this is what my skin actually looks like. I didn't even look my eyebrows for this video, which maybe I should have. But if it looks good from far away, it's because I'm far away and <laughs> I'm not, you know, close up and you can't really see everything. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay. So for my playlist, it helps me envision my future. Yeah, I'm sitting here, I'm studying, but if I do this, it'll pay off eventually. And I'll I'll get to experience all the adventure and thrill that's out there for the rest of my life. If you're talking about motivated just in general, people say YOLO. I really resonate with the message of YOLO, which stands for you only live once. I want to experience all of life before I'm not able to. Maybe from old age, like I can't move as much. The thing that motivates me the most is to just keep going because I'm never ever gonna have the time that I have right now ever again. If you wanna search up what optimistic nihilism is, nihilism, nihilism, I don't know how to say it. Um, but it's something I'm starting to believe in. It basically says that everyone is so small, their time is so small, so no one matters. But it views that in a good way. Because no one matters, no one's gonna remember you, then you should just do whatever the heck you want in your life. When I'm running and stuff, yes, I absolutely hate running, but it's kind of like if I do this, I can really reach the peak of my health and fitness goals. And it's like, when am I ever gonna be able to do that ever again? So I might as well just start now. Also, something that motivates me is that the person you want to be, you have to start acting like that person. If we're talking in terms of exercise, you wanna be faster at running. You're not gonna get faster at running if you don't run. You have to start being the person you want to be in order for you to actually become the person you want to be, which is something else that really motivates me as well. What do I think I'll be doing in five years? And in five years, I think I'm just going to be in medical school. I'll either be a first year or a second year. and Hopefully, it's a school I like <laughs> a lot. Maybe I've met someone special. <laughs> Maybe I haven't. If I haven't, I'll guarantee you I'll probably have some sort of pet. Actually, even if I have, I'll probably have some sort of pet. I really want a hedgehog. Hedgehogs only cost $300. I thought they would cost, I know I said only, but I thought they would cost like a thousand or something or a chinchilla. Okay, and with that, I already said it, but my face is complete. Remember, not everything on social media is what it seems, so even though I look better, that doesn't mean I am flawless. Because this girl is definitely not flawless. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. This is my full face everyday makeup. Not really minimalistic, but kind of minimalistic in terms of natural, looking natural. Here's a close-up even though no one asked, and I'm kind of just admiring myself right now. Admiring the work that I did, because I don't look like a freaking bonobo. <laughs> I don't look like a freaking chimpanzee. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for watching again. I really appreciate it again, and I will see you very soon. Subscribe, link to my socials down below. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Um, I'll see you very soon. Bye.